All right. Y'all tripping, man. Y'all really tripping. So, people out here shitting on Jeff Okuda and Killian Hayes. And I'm about to debunk some of this shit right now. Look, starting with Jeff Okuda. Look, bro. People killing this man because he had a bad rookie season. He didn't have the rookie season they expect. They expect a, a rookie corner to have fucking 12 interceptions and shit and fucking have less than 50% completion percentage completed on their ass. They expect Deion Sanders. I know he was drafted top three. I get it. I understand that. But come on, man. Look at the NFL today, man. Look at the NFL today. A lot of teams pass the ball. And the fact that Jeff Okuda had no preseason, no preseason, no real training camp, under the worst defensive-minded coaches to ever step foot on the football field, but we somehow trashing Jeff Okuda. We somehow trashing this man, saying he a bust, he's a bum, he's a loser, this, that, and the third. Oh, he garbage. Like, dude, look at, look who he went up against, bro. Some Like, half of the season. He went up against D-Hop. D-Hop. D-Hop is one of the best receivers in the game. He's Matter of fact, he's the best receiver in football. What the fuck do you expect, you fucking dumbass? What do you expect? Ooh, he supposed to be balling. He supposed to have no completion completed on him at all. People trash on the Kudu about D-Hop. But y'all don't want to mention the part that he had an interception. Y'all don't want to mention the part that he had one of the biggest tackles and key tackles of the game, if he didn't make that tackle, if he didn't have an interception, we don't win that fucking game. Because Stafford ain't do shit, nigga. Fuck you talking about? I'm tired of y'all saying that bullshit. Y'all say nonsense all the time, bro. If Tavai and, and motherfucking Okuda didn't show up in that game, we lose, nigga. We ain't win that game because of Stafford. But y'all don't want to talk about that part, though. Y'all don't want to mention that. Okay, let's go to the next one. Devontae Adams. Yeah, he, he cooked them. He cooked them a couple of times. But like I said, his assignments was some, like, I think it was like four of the five best receivers in the game. Devontae Adams was one of the best receivers in, in the game. Arguably top three receiver in the game, bro. Come on, man. Stop the bullshit. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Please. He went up against Julio Jones and Calvarelli, right? We don't want to talk about the good part about Okuda, though. He tackle motherfuckers. He actually get in the cloud of dust and tackle motherfuckers unlike Darius Slay did. But we don't want to talk about that. And Darius Slay struggled his rookie year, too. But we don't want to mention that part, though. We, and we also don't want to mention the part that, that Julio Jones didn't do jack shit in that fucking game. We don't want to mention that. We don't want to mention how... How Jeff Okuda had his best game against the son of a bitch. But we don't want to mention that, though. We want to mention, oh, all Jeff Okuda's downfalls and his bad moments and all this other bullshit. And y'all call me negative. I'm the most negative fan in, in Detroit sports. I'm, I'm, I'm this and I'm that. But I call out the real shit when I call it out. Y'all, that's why, see, this is why, this is why I can't fuck with some of y'all Detroit motherfuckers, man. Y'all be saying bullshit, man. Y'all kill me with this shit. Calvin really ain't do shit. Julio Jones ain't do shit. But y'all wanna, y'all wanna mention? Oh, he's so bad. He was so bad in that game. He ain't do that much. He ain't do all that. Shut the fuck up, man. Please, please, please shut the fuck up. It's some games he showed up, bro. He might not have been all world Pro Bowl level, but he. He had his moments now. Come on now. Like, and then you go up against, <laughs> who else he went up against top five? Well, he was supposed to go up against Michael Thomas. He, Michael Thomas went healthy. But it, it's the principle, man. And Okuda went healthy all year long, by the way. He didn't play all the games. He only played nine fucking games, you fucking dumbasses. Because some of that shit, because he was hurt. He was hurt some of those games. But y'all shit on Kuda, he had no real training camp, for real, for real. No preseason, no OTAs, but y'all shitting on this man so fucking hard. This fan base is fucking stupid. 
the Detroit fan base in general, not just the piss, not just the Lions, but the pisses too, are fucking stupid. And speaking of the pisses, y'all want to shit on Kenny and Hayes. Now, I even said out my own mouth, I said I wasn't that impressed with him. But that wasn't his fault. It wasn't all his fault. A lot of that had to do with Dwayne Casey not putting him in the right fucking situation because Dwayne Casey is an idiot. And then this this is the same coach, y'all. This is the same coach that want to put him at shooting guard and have him shoot the ball off dribble. Get the fuck out of here. He's not a fucking shooting guard. What the fuck is you doing? What the fuck is he talking about? And this is the same coach that want to use Blake Griffin at point guard, want to use him and stun his growth. But y'all... Y'all fans is so stupid. But y'all want to trash this man so bad. Y'all want to trash this kid so bad. He's 19. He's raw. He's raw. What do you expect? He's raw. He's 19, bro. He's 19. He's 19, about to be 20. He, I can see if he was 24, 25 years old. This is this the same fan base that praised Reggie Jackson, bum, garbage, trash ass, for many years, but y'all shit on Killian Hayes. Y'all unbelievable. Reggie Jackson can wish he could dream that he had the same defense that Killian Hayes ever had. Motherfucker, Killian on his worst day had better defense than Reggie Jackson, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Fuck out of here. Reggie Jackson is garbage, and y'all love this bum. Fuck out of here. I but y'all shit on Killian is so hard, bro. That's is crazy. Matter of fact, Killian Hayes got more of an excuse than Jeff Okuda. But you trashing this guy, you trashing the kid so hard. One, he's young as hell. Two, the guy, he, he had to go to the preseason with Blake Griffin trying to play point fucking guard. Three, then he had no summer camp, no summer league, none of that bullshit. And he had none of that. He had less than a month to prepare for the season. He got drafted in November, which the draft never happens in November. It always happens in July. But y'all want to trash this dude. He had no time to prepare for real. And this is and this also the same fan base that said Isaac Stewart was a bum. He was gonna be a nothing, a loser. But y'all not caught giving him nicknames, B Stew, Big Stew, whatever the fuck you want to call him. But y'all fan, your fans are dumb. This fan, this, and then you wonder why I don't take you fuckers seriously. And then you wonder why I clown y'all all the time. You wonder why I I clown y'all every chance I get. You wonder why. You wonder why. <laughs> Okay, but Kenny is a bust. Man, get the fuck out of here. Like, look, look, look what the mother ball doing. Look what he doing in Charlotte. Shut the fuck up. Look at Ty Tyrese Hilburn. Well, look what he doing. Tyrese Hilburn balling on the garbage ass Sacramento Kings team. Sacramento Kings ain't shit. They ain't been shit for years. They been fucking trash. They garbage. And as far as the Hornets go, yeah. Like, LaMelo Ball pay, play more fucking games. Killian and nothing. Killian got fucking hurt, you idiot. He got hurt. He missed over 40 games, you stupid ass bitch. Oh, my God. This fan base is so stupid, man. Y'all unbelievable, man. Like, Detroit in general is so dumb. But I'm the negative one. I'm the idiot. I'm the idiot. I don't know shit what the, what the fuck I'm talking about here. Even Motor City Sports Talk came around. Even he came around and said, okay, he ain't trash. I, I was wrong about him. He at least admitted this shit. He know he not garbage. Y'all, you st but y'all still says he garbage. <sighs> That's why I fuck with Motor City Sports Talk. He said he he came around. He he opened his fucking eyes. He know he not garbage. The guy he had to get some games under his belt. Man, Blake Griffin stunted his growth. Blake Griffin and Dwayne Casey stunted his growth. Period. Period. He might not be the greatest shooter. He might not be all that. But neither was Jason Kidd when he came out of college. Neither was Jason Kidd. Jason Kidd ain't come out the gate. See, Stephen Curry grew in the game of basketball. Stephen Curry, LeBron James, all you LeBron lovers and um, Russell Westbrook lovers and all this other bullshit ruined the game of basketball. Y'all ruined the game of basketball. Ooh, and Steph, like Steph Curry, LeBron, and... And Westbrook ruined the game of basketball. Triple Doe was making him a great player. Get the fuck out of here. 
Stephen Curry shooting fucking three pointers from half court, or it, it it makes him automatically the best point guard in NBA history. Get the fuck out of here! I would never ever put that clown over Isaiah Thomas ever, nigga. Fuck you talking about? Y'all don't know shit. Y'all don't know nothing, dog. He a he a Harlem Globetrotter fucking basketball player. Yeah, that's that basketball game cute in the regular season, but when it really fucking matter, it don't mean shit. What do Steph Curry do in the playoffs, nigga? Fuck you talking about? I I, I want to hear something. What do you do in the playoffs? Uh, uh, uh. Where, where, where the comments at? What are you doing in the finals against LeBron? Nothing. <laughs> Y'all, this see this fan base, Detroit Lions, Detroit Lions and Detroit Pistons fan base. This is why I take y'all seriously. This is a joke. This is a joke. I'm I'm angry, bro. I'm angry about this. I'm angry. I'm upset, man. And I, I'm I seen tw- I seen shit on Twitter. I seen shit on Facebook. I seen shit on YouTube. And just trashing these dudes, trashing these two dudes. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Like, give them a chance first before you even make a judgment, bro. Give them a chance, man. Give them a chance, man. Y'all kill me with this crap. Y'all really do kill me with this crap. <laughs> y'all, y'all really do, man. But I'm about to be up out of here, man. Y'all don't know what y'all talking about, man. Y'all just saying bullshit just because uh, you ain't like what you see in the first couple times. Shoot. You want to go that far? Chauncey Billups and come out the gate being Mr. B- fucking Big Shot, you dumbass fuck. But you, oh, oh, he's so trash. He garbage and all this other. Come on, man. Stop it. Y'all praise Chauncey Billups. He wasn't Mr. Big Shot yet, nigga. When he was, he won before he came to the pitch, he wasn't Mr. Big Shot. He was not Mr. Big Shot. He was not Mr. Big Shot. Ben Wallace and become Ben Wallace till he came to Detroit. But y'all shit on these motherfuckers so hard. Okuda and, and um Hayes, though. Y'all kill Oh man, I can't I, I don't understand the shit. Even I w I'll go to the Detroit Lions side. Go to Tate and become go to Tate because until he came to Detroit, bro. He was not go go to Tate and become the player he became till he came to Detroit. Even though he always had ability, he haven't really made his name till he came to Detroit. Period. <laughs> it, it's just the principle, man. But I'm about to be up out of here, man. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. I'm gone. Peace out.